Ginger, Brian the Ginger here, and today I have OCR legend, Mr. Podcast himself, Philip Levy, legend. Legend. legend, legend, and uh, we're going to do 20 questions with him real quick, just a little bit of backstory about this guy, um, he, he is a phenomenal coach, uh, he does the Obstacle Order podcast, jump, jump, Obstacle Order on the arm, uh, elite runner, and ex-chef, Ex-chef, yes. ex -chef. I'm an ex-chef. Can you illuminate a little bit on the, the chef part? I can make barbecue really well, and I'm much happier doing what I do now than I was living the chef life. So OCR has changed him from the chef life to uh, OCR legend. OCR legend. Dude, you are like really creating a huge, way too big for me to huge, fill. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to do 20 questions with this guy. Now, first question. I asked you this earlier. Why flip? Well, I'm an energetic guy and my name really fast is Flip. People have always called me Flip. My parents call me Flip. My friends call me Flip. Uh, my name being Philip. If you just shorten it, you don't got a lot of time in your day, just go Flip. Boom. So that's why they call me Flip. Makes it easy. And Instagram, Trainer Flip. Trainer flip. Trainer flip. Number two, what is your favorite phrase? Do work. Do work. I've heard you say that. Yeah, do work. Do work. Three, what is your favorite body part? Uh, my ninth abdominal. Your ninth it's abdominal. Right here. Right not here ten. Not eight. If you zoom in, nine. you can see nine. Sort of eight. We're not going to zoom and in. But I have a it's there. Beers, so it's the there. Ninth is right there. And the more beer he has, he loses one. He's I do. Three. I'm on like seven right now. Seven right now. <laughs> Number four. Have you podiumed yet? Not in a Spartan race, but I, a, I have podiumed in an OCR race. Uh, it was actually two week, two weeks ago at Terrain Race. Really? I took third place at. Uh, at Terrain Race in um, San Jose, California, because all of our fast friends were in the 5K. So, big thank you to all of them for letting guys like me and Brian the, Brian the Ginger uh, shine. When you guys leave and we get the shine, it's yeah. the best thing ever. Yeah. I'm right there with you. When I'm you, right there with you. When you weigh 190 pounds, it's hard to get on that podium. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, it's tough. Number to five. Jacked. This is going to be an easy one beer or wine? I'll let. This speak for itself. And this is a cold one because he had a warm one earlier. Yeah. Six, what is your favorite state in the United States? Tennessee. Tennessee. Why? Because I'm from Memphis, baby. Oh, really? Born and raised. Born and raised, Memphis, Born and raised. Tennessee. I did not know that. So you, you learned something new on this. You, you take the boy new. out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the boy. That's for sure. <laughs> Seven, have you had a worse race and what was it? Oh, yeah. My worst race was... Uh, it was the Urban Men's Health Urban Athlon 2013. Uh, a good friend of mine, gosh, how seriously I took myself back then. Dated a little bit there. A good friend of mine got married the night before. And we ended up just kind of staying up all night and going to the race the next day. It wasn't pretty. We'll just put it, put it like that. Do not go to a friend's wedding the day before a, a, a race because you do a lot of this and some other stuff, a lot of dancing. You don't get your, re uh, your rest in and you wake up. Sometimes you don't even go to sleep. Your eyes are baggy. The, the photos come out terrible. It's a horrible photo that you drank the night before. That, yeah. that's, that's what we learned from this. Do that. Number eight, vegan or meatitarian? Meatitarian, but respect for the vegans. I do have a lot of respect for vegans because going meat free, uh, it, it poses a lot of benefits for the human body. If you eat too much meat, it slows you down, bogs you up. Can present some cancer uh, health uh, cancer risks. Uh, so yeah, meatitarian, but respect for the I'm a meat of vegan terrier. Good looking uh, and smart. Uh, uh, that. Uh, you're like giving me huge shoes to fill right now. What was the last song you listened to? Uh, uh, these will be the years. You can say it. You can say it. You can say what it was. Alesso years. Alesso years. You know the. It's a G sharp, it's an F, it's an A, and a B. It's really easy to play. I play piano too. Um, and, and a, uh, and a many, many talents. Many 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 talent. Anyway, so Alesso, years. It's good. It's got a good beat, it's getting in the zone, and I like it. I love it. I love it. So we talked about you being a podcast. What was your favorite podcast uh, interview? And don't say me. Don't say me. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. no. Say someone more famous. You're so much more fun. Important. Well, it's not, it's not about being famous or important. What our audience loves is Eli, who is not here. He's off somewhere on course right now. He got a warm uh, 
uh, uh, looking for his girlfriend who is crushing right now. People seem to like us. I'm gonna scoot a little closer because the wind is gonna ruin our, our yes. audio. <laughs> Sorry, we got closer because the wind's probably messing with the audio right now. But um, Eli and I are polar opposites. He's small and fast. I'm big and kind of slow. Um, but he's very, very analytical and scientific, and I'm kind of a Phil the brunette, I guess, if you're Brian the ginger. I'm a goofball too, um, and, and we, when we butt heads, people love to hear us argue about stuff, because I think we raise good points, intelligent points that people can learn from, and I mean, the numbers the numbers don't lie. People are entertaining. People, thank you very much. very entertaining. Thank you. People, that's why I like it. People tune into to those shows more than when we have Amelia Boone on, when we have Yancey Culp yeah. on, when we have um, uh, Chad Trammell, uh, who else? Uh, Matt Novakovich. Now he's name dropping. Just, I'm name dropping. It. Like I just boom, boom. like a whole like a, like handful a of microphones. Now, now you can see him actually doing it. Bag he also does mics. air quotes on the podcast. They like hilarious. us to do this. <laughs> anyway. What, what is your favorite movie of all time? Favorite movie of all time. Can it be a trilogy? Because I'm going to say Star Wars. Cool. Star, Star Wars, Wars, Boba Fett's my man. I'm a fan. Old school? Fan Star of Wars. The Fett. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. OG Star Wars. Fan of the Fett. That's a fan of the Fett. It's too out it, Oh, it, there's an actual thing. You know what? It's funny. I just made that up. I don't know if Question it's a 19 thing, is, it is, a thing is now. Star Wars or Star Trek? So you just answer that. I respect I respect Kirk. I love Picard because he transitioned over well to Professor Professor X. And he's Sir Patrick Stewart. Yes. Um, but as far as series go, I got to go Star Wars all the way. Star Wars. Old school. All the way. Yeah. And then are you an off road guy or a fast highway? I'm an off road guy. Off road guy. For sure. Big truck. I, I like, uh, I like, oh, I thought you meant when we're running. No, man, I like, I drive a Lexus, dude. I like to. <laughs> so here's the, here's the, con, here's the, out there. here's the, the contradiction of my life. I love getting out here, getting dirty, and just grinding on nasty, dirty trails. And I want to get in a clean, luxury vehicle and, and enjoy that because I think when you're out here just grinding and you're like, you know, all beat up and stuff like that, it helps you appreciate those finer things in life even more. Because if all you do is treat yourself to luxuries, then you lose that you lose that perspective. Absolutely. And that's that's why things all I love about this. Life's all about man. Yeah. So you're yeah. Kind of dirty and then you know get cleaned up and drive around in a nice car. Yeah. Yeah. Free butt. Free butt. All right. Coffee or pre workout or both. Yeah. You kidding me? Do I look like you need a pre workout? No, you don't, don't do pre workout. I don't. I don't. No, I just do coffee. I love my coffee. I coffee, love my coffee. I will kill a man for a cup of coffee. And I, I love this question. Tell me about Batman Turkey. Wow. Oh, I, hey, hey, what? I, hey. Whoa, I, 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 I did my homework. I did my research, man. All right. So Batman Turkey. Batman Turkey. God, I was 19 when I did that. <laughs> oh, um, I did my research, baby. Wow. So, Batman Turkey. Um, we got a uh, an, an offer uh, to do like you've seen in big cities they have these like hearts or animals or just things that are painted by local artists and I basically got a call my my mother called me from Middle Tennessee when I was in Charleston South Carolina going to school as a big fan boom jumping back she was like hey cow painters are here that's the company do you want to submit a uh, an idea to paint the new turkey? Tennessee and I was like well, hell yeah and so I was a chef at the time and I submitted the idea of a chef turkey and a Batman turkey and they were like they love your Batman turkey idea but pay 500 bucks to do it and do you want to do it I'm like well hell yes I want to do it I'm going to go buy paint and and uh, some molding clay and make a, a turkey that's about six and a half feet tall that, that was big uh, I found out a picture on your Facebook and I was like Batman turkey, I yes, dude, that was like yes. that was like 2003. I tell you, man, way it was back awesome. when it was awesome, man. We're pulling up, we're pulling up history. So that's here. that's how that happened, and uh, I cranked it out in 12 hours. I made that yeah, Batman turkey. And if anyone watching this knows where that Batman turkey is, I have not seen it since. <laughs> I heard it was in Nashville about five years ago in front of the AT&T building that has two spires like Batman's cowl. But other than that, I have not seen it. You find it, he's looking for it. I, don't, I mean, I just, I just, I just want to see it. I don't want it. Yeah. Just shoot me a picture. Yeah, exactly. Just say it's still alive. It's still alive. All right. DC or Marvel? Marvel. Yes! Marvel. Easy. Easy question. Easy. Great question. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Sorry. Uh, first girlfriend is how old? Ashley Bruner, seven years old. Wow. 
seven years old. It's so early, bro. I love my wife very much. It's Wednesday, that's, that's why I asked. She's like just sitting right, right there. Right there. <laughs> Tacos or pizza? Tacos. Tacos. Like that crunch. Pizza guy. Okay. Like, tacos you gotta work for. Pizza, you can put down the whole thing because it's already made, but tacos is like, I got a shell. Do I want to do meat, cheese, sour cream, veggies? Do I want to do veggies? You know, a little awesome. air bed on the bottom. And he's a and chef, meat. so I mean, you gotta kind of. So you can, you can, you hey, you don't overeat because it's like, I don't want to make that taco. Man. <laughs> I'm tired of these tacos. But pizza, I'll put down two or three of those. Dude, I love it. I love it. And question number 20 Who is your favorite ginger of all time? Trying the ginger smart. Oh my gosh. Well, I appreciate you coming out. And uh, great race today. Monterey was definitely a, uh, a tough one. Yes. And, and fun. It, it was fun. awesome. Fun. You, you dragged your wife through uh, eight and a half miles, which is really I didn't nice. drag my wife. I she caught up you. I caught up to my wife. Oh, she's I raced you. in the today. Oh, okay. I caught up to her at the last 200 feet I of just the saw, race. I saw, you know, like someone dragging someone at the end. That's what I saw. Thank you very much, guys. This was 20 questions with the ginger and Mr. Philip Levy. Uh, if you guys have any questions or want to hit it up, comments or anything like that, uh, now next week I'll have another one. Tune in.